Magandang araw Malacanang Press Corps. Ngayon ay makakasama na po natin si Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles. Magandang araw mo. Magandang hapon. Uh, dalawa lang po muna ang topic natin today. I was originally going to talk about other matters but these were more pressing. On the shooting of Shinzo Abe, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs has expressed shock and dismay over this tragedy and we are praying that Mr. Shinzo recovers fully. Next, the President has tested positive in an antigen test for COVID-19. He has a slight fever, but he is otherwise okay. Those who have been in close contact with him are currently being informed by the Presidential Management staff to observe their symptoms as per the protocol. Regarding the President's schedule for today, the Executive Secretary attended the morning's meeting or a briefing on matters of security on behalf of the President. He will not be attending, the President will not be attending the 246th anniversary of uh, U.S. independence at the U.S. Embassy today. However, he will virtually attend and give a message at the leagues of governors and mayors meeting of officials tonight. Uh, this is part of the continuing campaign for a series of vaccinations and booster shots in preparation for the face-to-face -face uh, face -face opening of classes this school year. The meeting was originally planned to have a dinner, but that meal has been removed to prevent officials from removing their masks. The Vice President, the Secretary of uh, Interior and Local Government, and Yusek, Yusek Vergiere will be making presentations at the meeting tonight. Uh, in relation to the first family, Congressman Sandro Marcos has tested negative. The first lady, Simon and Vincent, are all out of town and have not been exposed. The president encourages the public to get their vaccine series and boosters. Okay. Two follow-up questions, Malacanang Press Corps. Anyone? Tuesday New DCWB and follow followed by uh, Katrina Domingo of ABS CBN News Online. All right. Ma'am, I would just like to know if uh, the First Lady is with the President. At kumusta po ang exposure niya with the President? She's out of town. She has not been exposed. Ah, okay. Katrina Domingo, ABS-CBN News Online. Uh, Ma'am, um, aside from the First Family, who else was exposed to the President and are undergoing isolation right now? How long will the President be isolated? As and what uh, and what events or activities will be affected by this health um, event? The president, well, it's an antigen test, huh? So the people are closest to him, for the, so we're referring to those who were with him yesterday and the ones who are constantly he is with, in contact with, uh, the executive secretary, PMS, etc. We, uh, myself, we all tested negative in an antigen test. So, but the others he has been in contact with, including those who have taken their oath, are being informed by the PMS to observe their symptoms as per the protocol. Um, Secretary Yusek Vergara will be willing to answer your questions in relation to health protocols. As, just yeah. on, this, on the second point, which yes, events will be affected by uh, his isolation? Well, the U.S. Embassy event later on the celebration of their independence, he will not be attending that. But the meeting of the governors, League of Governors and League of Mayors, uh, the officials, they're meeting tonight on uh, the, the campaign for pu pushing for vaccines and booster shots. That will continue and he will attend virtually and give a message. And now we mm -hmm. also have Yusek, uh, Yusek, Yusek Verhere of Department of Health. Yusek Verhere, Yusek. please. Uh, yes, good afternoon po to everybody. Good afternoon, Secretary Pixi. As to the question regarding the protocol for isolation of the president. The president will be isolated for seven days uh, from the time that he was tested positive. And after that, if his symptoms have resolved already, uh, he may be able to go back to work and have his face-to-face -face activities. Okay. Okay, uh, question for Yusek Verhere muna po. Pia Gutierrez of ABS cbn um, regarding the president, does he need to undergo a confirmatory RT-PCR test? Or is the antigen test enough? Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. No? So based on our protocol, if a person is symptomatic, the antigen test will be accurate already. 
So we are just going to monitor the president. But of course, the president would have that prerogative if his doctor would advise him to take his RT-PCR. But nonetheless, the antigen test is already enough to state that he is at that positive. He is positive for the disease and he has uh, this mild symptoms. Question for you, Secretary. Eden Santos, Al. You say on, on another issue po regarding din sa uh, instant noodles po na, na sinasabing uh, um, meron pong ethylene oxide um, para po mawala din yung uh, pangamba ng ating mga kababayan since yung instant noodles po na yan dito sa Pilipinas ay isa sa pagkain ng ating mga kababayan may hirap ano po and uh, para mawala yung kanilang pangamba ano po yung uh, uh, take natin dito sa DOH dito po, dito po ba yung mga uh, instant noodles ay affected nitong uh, chemicals na ito or hindi naman po? Uh, yes, no? so gusto po natin klaruhin na uh, ito pong nangyari at uh, isang insidente na lumabas na report kahapon ay nangyari po sa European countries hindi po dito sa ating bansa meron po tayong local manufacturer nitong food product na ito kung saan ang ating pong mga ginagamit na mga sangkap nito at saka yung pong pagsasagawa ay dito po sa atin sa Pilipinas. So ang sinasabi po natin ng ating Food and Drug Administration sa ngayon, base sa kanilang pagkakasuri at pag-iimbestiga, ah, hindi po apektado no, yung production ng ating ah, food product na ito dito po sa ating bansa. Ah, nonetheless, ang ating pong FDA ay patuloy pong iniimbestigahan ito para makita no, kung meron man talaga na nakarating man no, from those manufacturers abroad uh, dito po papunta sa ating pansa. But we are assuring everybody that FDA has already verified na ito pong product na noodles na ito, meron mo tayong local manufacturers. We are not currently affected uh, by this incident of contamination which was which happened in the European countries. Okay, thank you so much, Yusek Maria Rosario Berheri of Department of Health. Now for questions for uh, uh, Secretary Angeles Nestor Corrales of uh, Philippine Daily Inquirer. Good afternoon, Secretary. Ma'am, may I just get details on the meeting between the President and the Chinese Foreign Minister? Um, did the uh, President Marcos tell Wang, particularly his remarks on Tuesday, that he will find ways to resolve the conflicts that we have, referring to our maritime dispute with China? Ano po yung napag-usapan nila, Ma'am? Let me give you a rundown on that one. Hold on. I apologize. I was uh, busy handling this. I had to get the antigen test. All right. Um, the Chinese State Councilor and Foreign Minister, Mr. Wang Yi, uh, stressed only the cooperation between China and the Philippines and that it, this transcends any maritime disputes. And he reiterates that the friendship between the two sides have lasted for many years. So that is the extent of the what they have revealed to the public. What was the response of President Marcos? Well, this is mutually... Uh, agreed upon. So he said the president has said that he se seeks to bring the bilateral ties with China to a higher level. Last question for yes. Did the Chinese government also extend an invitation to the president to visit China? Um, we have no information on that one. We assure you that as soon as it is formally acknowledged and accepted, we will make the announcement. Um, as for, the, oh wait, this was the one that he said there's no date yet. I apologize. Uh, he, there was an invitation, but there is no date set as of yet. Right. Did he accept it, ma'am? Uh, yes, he did. Thank you, ma'am. Last question from Bar Vance Fernandez of Police Files. Mm -hmm. Next. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Uh, could we receive further details? and reasoning by the President on the dissolution of the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission. On the reason for its dissolution? Yes. Well, basically, the Presidential Anti-Crime Commission, the PACC, I understand, which was run by former, uh, yes, Commissioner, was that his title, Belica, is, uh, it's not in line with streamlining. Uh, first of all, its nature is investigative, which can also be conducted by the office of the ombudsman. So usually what they do is they gather evidence on presidential appointees and then file the case with the ombudsman. 
whereas a complainant can file a case directly with the ombudsman for investigation and then later on preliminary investigation should it be a criminal case or full investigation with regard to administrative cases. In other words, there are government agencies that address this already, so there's no further need for a PACC. Okay, so, Ma'am, one okay, another uh, question. Has the President come to a final conclusion whether or not the upcoming barangay elections will still push through the scheduled date of December 5, 2022? There is no statement yet on that one. Okay, thank you, Ma'am. You're welcome. Secretary? We'll have one last question for you. Uh, Clarification and confirmation regarding dun sa uh, Pastana uh, appointment po. Uh, how true na binawi po ito ng Malacanang? There is no statement and no information on that one. So it's status quo as, to, as of the moment. All right, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Malacanang. Oh, by the way, just in case you're worried, negative ako ha. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Secretary Trixie Cruz Angles. Thank you so much, Malacanang Press.